Hey, what's up guys? I wanna show you a couple useful tricks that I just figured out today and I think is useful for the community to just know about and be aware of, especially when using contact with MIDI generators such as Scalar 3. This is gonna be really useful when you're building your chord progressions with one of the session guitarist additions. And you wanna make sure that you're not getting in the way of key switches and unintentional slides in your progressions and you're actually making something that sounds good and it's not conflicting with how these guitar libraries actually work. Okay, first things first, you wanna make sure that you have this voicing turned to always as played globally so you just turn that off and then when you go to scalar you're going to hear it back just as it's intended to be played but we still have some problems because we have unintentional slides and a key switch that's being struck during this chord progression now in order to solve this all you have to do is select all of these chords click midi editor and then you'll see that you have this velocity control. And when you drag down on it, it's gonna eliminate all those unintentional slides. So if we play it back, it sounds like this now. So that part is fixed, but there's still this one key switch that's being activated on this B major at 11 that I wanna eliminate as well. So this is where the cool contact trick I learned today comes in handy. So if I go back into contact, the first thing that I'm gonna do is go up to view and we're gonna just select classic view. And then the next thing that we need to select is this little KSP button right here that I never knew existed until today, but if we click on it, You'll see that it brings this control window up here. And if we go to presets and go to factory, transform, change keys, we can now change individual notes. So during playback, this B1 key switch is being struck right here. And I wanna eliminate that from being activated during playback with my chords. So what I can do is just go to the B1 section and then go over, and we're gonna change this B1 to B B0. You can either drag down or you can just double click in here and then press B0. Just press enter. And now when we go back to this chord progression, it's gonna play back and not activate any of those key switches. This is such an awesome little trick and I, I can't believe it exists. I just was building a chord progression inside of Scalar 3 and I kept running into this problem where key switches were being engaged during playback and it was just messing up my whole workflow. So keep in mind, if there's more key switches during your chord progression that are being engaged, you can go through here and change the individual notes so that they don't trigger upon playback. Because as you may know, these key switches inside this session guitarist edition are from C1 to C2. So you got C1, C sharp one, D1, so on and so forth, all the way up to B1 that you can shift down to a lower octave. That way, when you're playing back inside Scalar 3, they're not going to be engaged and you're going to have a smooth chord progression. So I hope this was helpful. And also keep in mind too, that if you're interested in Scalar 3, there's actually a Black Friday deal going on until the 30th of this month. You can save 30% off Scalar 3. I highly recommend Scalar 3. It is such an awesome way to build chord progressions, getting the most out of your contact libraries and plugins, especially if you're not the greatest with music theory and coming up with your own chord progression ideas. And then on top of that, we also have Native Instruments Black Friday deals going on as well. This is the Session Guitarist Acoustic Sunburst Deluxe page, but if we go out to the main page here, there is a huge sale going for half price upgrades. So if you already own a complete version, you can save 50% right now. This is the big sale of the year for Native instruments so it's time to take advantage if you've been looking at upgrading to complete 15 and if you're like me and you use a lot of machine expansions definitely consider getting the collector's edition because you're going to get the most expansions in this bundle right here anyways guys that was just a quick tip i wanted to show you hopefully it helps your music production workflow because i know for me when these little hiccups happen and you're engaging key switches you don't mean to and slides are happening, it just can be kind of annoying and frustrating. So here's a way to eliminate it by just simply changing the velocity on your chords and going into contact using the KSP button where you can change the individual notes, shifting these key switches down an octave. And really you can put it wherever you want. So if you have chords that are playing along here as well, even down into the lower octave, you can shift these notes wherever you need them to be so that they're out of your way. All right, guys, let me know if this was helpful below and don't forget to check out those deals while they're happening during this Black Friday season. All right guys, that's pretty much it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.